Hello everyone and welcome in for another day of classic fixed risk. We have blizzards and portals on my new favorite settings, classic fixed. We have alliances on and we're going to get a God spawn right here with really funky blizzards that cut a bunch of the map off. Please do it. Uh, blizzards, North America looks awkwardly weird. That's kind of neat ish, I guess. Uh, we are the black player. We have a lot of troops coordinated around the middle of the map, so we're probably going to look for a Europe or Africa play. Most important thing on turn one is I'm going to be trying to take a card on a one or something. I'm leaving Australia alone for sure. There's no ones on the board except this portal. So presumably nobody can really take an easy card. They have to hit twos. Yeah, white can't hit it. Like, everybody has to hit a two or something to take a card. Except me, or anybody that has access to a portal. I guess three of us have access to a portal, so we can all take a card on a one. <clears throat> Is there going to be a giant fight for North America? Because if there is, I should try to go for Europe, and then after the fight of North America, maybe I swoop in and take it? Or maybe I just ignore it. It looks more cut off than it is. This guy just went ham for Australia immediately. Blue player is very aggressive. Peas and love is very aggressive. Um, take a card here. I'm leaving North America, and I'm hoping purple or red or somebody moves in, because I don't want white to have it for free, but I also don't want to be the one in his way. So, presumably, I want somebody to stop white for North America, but... Because it looks very scary, but really it's only this one blizzard. But it looks really scary, and it's still a three-point guard. I would love red to take this one and go into North America. And then I can start trying to get purple and blue out of... Uh, he's blitzing three on two, so pay attention to red. He's not going to attack optimally. Uh, we've got Orson Splint from Unspecified Location. Peas and Love from Switzerland. Me from Hidden Country. Another Unspecified. Should probably pay attention. Gunter from Germany. Uh, there was two German players in the lobby, but I did kick one just in case. And Lucius Hawkeye from United States. Yeah, there's portals. Always portals. What are, uh, Stable portals. <laughs> so the way I like to play Classic Fixed, uh, blizzards and stable portals, because you can get a Siam blizzard, and then one portal in Australia, which is really cool. Um, I've seen screenshots people have sent me, because they know I want it. Hit this. Damn. But I've seen screenshots of Alaska, Iceland, and Central America as three portals, or three blizzards, with a portal in North America. I've also seen Alaska, uh, Iceland or Greenland, whatever, and uh, North Africa, which cuts this entire half the board off with a couple portals. Oh, he loses a three on one. <sighs> okay, so purple's also incredibly aggressive. Blue aggressively pushed for Australia. Looks like he's going to hold it. Red's rolling three on twos, and purple's rolling three on ones and attacking very aggressive for a bonus. Um... So white and red North America contest. I hope he lets me get my three out. <clears throat> Pink is going to probably make an Africa play. Uh, Purple's going to get his five out of here. And blue needs to get this five through the portal. To... So I, I think blue and purple are both going to get out of Europe. And I can make a Europe play. And I think if I vacate... Um... Africa, I think pink will go for Africa and his four will come out. So I think long term, and then these two fight for North America. I think long term I could play for Europe. Let white and red fight. Purple here, pink here, blue here. Which would put me in the best position if I could. So ideally I hit four on one here and bring this four in. And then I have two big stacks here and I'm trying to get everybody else out. Then pink hits this too. 
blue comes through, purple comes through. Yeah. And then purple comes through with his fortification and I can get my three out next turn. I've got all the thinking going on. Big boy thinking cap right now. Let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going... I'm going for Europe. We've got dude and cavalry. We need an artillery. What's up, Bishop? Kilted, I cannot find my marble. I'm sorry. You lost your marbles, bro? <laughs> Exclamation point play. Yeah, and it's still a three-point hold. Even though it looks really good with these weird blizzards, but... Purple takes and fortifies his five away, would be the smart play. And then I'm hoping pink hits this two and stops, and then I can bring my three up into here. I could even actually bring the three here, here, and bring this two out of the way so pink can come down. It's my ideal goal. I don't know, he's blitzing three on ones, two on ones, get your five out of my bonus. Thank you. Very much appreciated. So pink is maybe not even going to hit this two. Okay, he's coming in that way. Offer an alliance. Don't hit my three. Let me get out. Well, well played. I'll hit him with well played. I'm okay to work with that. And then I'm going to attack, attack, and bring the two over so his four can get through. That's my next goal. And I'll probably just have to deal with hitting the purple three at some point. I need an artillery pretty bad. If I get an artillery, we're looking at a big trade and taking Europe really early. Imagine a one border Asia. Oh my god. Yeah, like these are cut off. Or like Ukraine and Middle East are blizzards. And then a Kamchatka blizzard. And then that cuts off this half from this half. And then this whole thing is guarded by like two portals or something. You could get that, presumably. The ginger behind the slaughter. Knickknack Gaming Kilted, you are my best friend. Thank you, man. I never really did the old best friend thing growing up. Like, you know, everybody's like, I have a... This, I, 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 I guess I had a best friend when I was, like, a teenager. But, like, I've had friends and acquaintances, but I've never had, like... <clears throat> I don't know, someone that'd be like, this is my number one best friend. Damn it, lost a troop. That sucks. Lost another troop? That is awful. Now I'm out of pink's way. Whatever. I had to take that. We got the artillery. Okay, I think we just take Europe. <clears throat> I don't like the portal being here and not in the middle or something, but I think we just take it. Red and yellow are uh, quite at the battle here. Pink's going to get out of my way. Give him a thumbs up. Energy drinks are beautiful. What is with the title? <clears throat> oh, the official uh, free-for-all tournament could use... Uh, they're looking for event hosts to kind of help host the games. Pretty much you host the lobby when people are supposed to play their games. There's going to be like 100 plus lobbies because there's over 600 people registered already. So there's going to be a lot of games played. And we need people to go in and be like, ping everybody and be like, hey, your game starts in one hour. Make sure you're here. And then if uh, people aren't there within like 20 minutes till game start, you DM them and be like, hey, your game's in a couple minutes. Are you going to make it? And if they won't, you ping the wait list, fill people in, stuff like that. And then when they play the game, they record the results in there and you take the, re the results and then you post them. It just kind of helps the staff run the tournament efficiently. So they are looking for a few event hosts. Uh, God awful noobs applying now. Um, if anybody else is like kind of more familiar in the in the community and wants to get a little bit more well known and wants to meet some more people, that's a good way to do it. <clears throat> Don't the game hosts have to have purchased the maps being used? Uh, that was before. I, I believe now those maps are going to be free, so every game is going to have. I'm not entirely sure. I should probably look at this stuff. I've been so busy. 
<clears throat> but we used to have a host that would host the lobby, but the last tournament got really big. SMG actually makes the play map for the week. The free map for the week is the map that's in the tournament. So they actually align the free maps with the tournament, so everybody will have access to the maps that they need. How does one sign up to be a host? Um, the Bull on Discord. Where is it? The Bull. Uh, you'll find him in Discord. He's a he's a either a moderator or a support staff. You'll find his name on the main Discord. You can just uh, message him directly and be like, "Hey, Kilted said you're looking for event hosts. Can I?" Um, and then he'll he'll ask you some questions and talk to you. And then if he thinks you're a good fit, then he'll uh, he'll bring you on. I really should I do it? It's blue botting out. We just played a game where we had a bot out in Australia. I don't like that. Yeah, okay, good. Play the game. Four cards and 19 troops. I didn't want to instant trade because I don't want people to assume I'm really quick with my fingers. Let's try. We'll do this. If they want to break me, white can break me without having to hit a 16 stack. Or, or people can break me if they want to break me. I'm not going to super guard that and take damage. New pickup line. Girl, you should see how fast I trade in a set in risk. Well, sometimes uh, you can read a player and what what they're going to do that turn if they instant trade. Like if you're playing progressive cards and someone's traded at this point on their turn because they just instant quick trade, you know they're quick in how they decide and what they do. So that's key of somebody that's confident and experienced. So if I take my time, I take 10 seconds to trade, it's like this guy doesn't know what he's doing. At least more so it doesn't. <clears throat> he splits off to roll a 4v2 on me. That's, uh... He breaks pink and breaks me, makes two enemies. He is card blocked, though, so... And now he's gonna guard that with that. He's gonna leave it open? Oh, why are you leaving... I know why. He doesn't want purple to suicide him. Purple's gonna have a trade, presumably. Red didn't hit white. White is not trading. He is trading. Okay. Trapping purple in SA will make him hate you. Yeah. Fair. It's his own fault for getting trapped in there, though. Like, he had little stacks all over, and he's just two on one, three on one, rolling everything. I don't know why. He could have had a five stack over here to get cards with for free and had this bonus. But he, uh, he suicided all his extra Asia troops. So, it's, really, it's his own fault. And he's going to come through with a 10 and break pink again, and me again. So I think I retake the bonus and stack on the portal. I don't think I defend him at all. I would love to have access to him with my big stack, though. Like, I would love to combine these stacks and have access to him somehow. If in case he has five... Okay, so we got a dude and a cavalry? No, our artillery. So we need a cavalry. What's up, Mallory? Is this still early game? Did this game just start? Uh, this game just started. Yeah, we're on round five. Just got our... Everybody just getting their fifth card or trading. I had the big trade on three. Purple's going to break me again. 
Uh, what's up, Zadler? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I wasn't guarding with twos or threes because he's going to break me no matter what I leave there. Loses two on a one, so no slider blitzing. Splits off of 11, and what's he run the board? He leaves a 10 in Europe. What a douchebag. If he actually wanted to trade cards and not go to war, he should be moving his 10 into Asia. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Family subscribed. Hey, bro. Thank you. Daddy. Thanks for the sub, bro. I appreciate it. I said bro twice in like three seconds. That's disgusting. I should be fired. Big trade on three doesn't seem like you. I know. I don't know what it's... I played a game earlier where I had a big trade into three on three into a big trade on three again. Huh. Is this just get into Kilted's Europe idea or what? Hmm. Pink has five cards and 23 troops. What is blue doing? He's stopping my seven from coming in, so my kill on pink is not as good now. Now I can't kill pink, actually. Because <clears throat> if my seven could be a six, five, four... Like, if, if my seven gets most of this, then my 22 can hit the 17 and split these two stacks. But now I don't really have the kill. Wild card is really nice. Does that... Big trade in three and a big trade in three? I'll ally you, Blue. That's fine. We'll see what purple does. German player wants to. Is he taking the portal to Japan? Okay, that's smart, because now he can get cards in Japan and not fight me. I'm going to big trade and stack this portal now. <clears throat> and I highly recommend him not hitting me again. We'll see. <laughs> I'm speaking that into the Risk Universe so it comes out through his screen. Fired into the sun? Yeah, Mallory, everybody was playing with our balls. You actually did miss it. We did marbles on stream. It's quite fun. Um, I'm assuming you've seen it on Speedster Stream, but it was a good idea. It's free on Steam, and it everybody can just join. It's really simple. Mm -hmm. Blue card blocking pink. Purple needs to take a card here so pink can get it through the portal. I don't want to go to war with pink, but I want this bonus. Card blocking yellow or white over here too. My situation's not looking great with all the, uh, the way blue's choking the board up, forcing people in here. And the way purple broke me twice. Quite frustrating. And like this is, he's trying to choke everybody out. <laughs> Very interesting.
We'll see how this goes. I'm not liking the looks of this game. I might just have to go go hard on somebody. Because like I, I've been broken a couple times. White taking territories off me when I'm already broken. I understand that, but now that I'm not. Purple breaking me twice is frustrating, but now he's got a card spot where he doesn't have to. Blue choking the board up, trying to force other people into being card blocked and stuff. I think he's going to lose some four stacks soon. Does he finally take North America? Oh, take North America, bro. That's eight troops. Just knock him out. Well, white gets cards now, right? So. Can't believe you played with your balls without me. <clears throat> Take white out of NA. I thought about it, but I can't afford to lose that many troops right now. What I need to do is hold Europe for a couple turns. Even if I don't have good card options. Presumably he hits the blue four. Yeah, okay. Good roll. Now we can take some cards. And red, uh, white's still got access. White's got access to a portal now. Red's also got access to killing white. So do I. Red and I both have access to killing white, actually. Curious what white does with the portal access. Yeah, I think red's going to take him out of NA eventually. Anyway, he should have. He's got 45 troops in NA to, to 8. Take the 8 troops out. You lose, what, 5 maybe? And then I, we're already allied. I'm not going to break him. White trades. He's going to the portal. What's he do with it? He's got lots of action, actions that he could do. He can hit anybody, and it would be detrimental to anybody's game. <laughs> or he can chill. Theoretically, red could back his 27 off, and white could leave the portal with his stack, and then red could take North America without hitting the 6. What is blue's response to getting hit by pink? Now they're card blocking him to the point where he's going to want to hit my 4 stack. This is annoying. Blue's got no cards without my four stack. Unless he hits. Now he's hitting my four. Oh, he's hitting pink. I honestly thought he was going to hit my four. I get to hold my bonus. Okay, we got a dude in artillery. We need a cavalry. Give him a thumbs up. Peas and love. Why is he thumbs downing me? I had to get a card, bro. What do you want from me? I can't believe he had a 15 of... What, did he want me to kill pink there? Four cards and 28 troops is not worth it. It's too risky. I need to be careful of stuff like purple's kind of a loose cannon and red's got red and white have giant stacks on portals so need to be scared of those red could technically kill pink right now take africa and trade red could also just take north america and he could just take a card and pass do that as well um white's no longer card blocked presumably purple would have to really be malicious to card block him here He'd have to split into two tens. So presumably white gets a card easily. <laughs> Leave three in Iceland. Yeah, I left an eight because I don't want... I want white... Like, I was seeing these blue fours, and I want white to rather hit a blue four than my stack. I wanted it to be significantly more difficult than a four stack. Pink doesn't get a card. Or, or doesn't get it. Doesn't trade. He's on five cards. 
Um, like if I'm white, I'm considering killing him for five cards and Africa. But uh, he's not doing it. It's nice that blue is progressing the game somewhat. It is true. Blue forcing these four stacks out does force us into weird card block, uh, card block situations. Which also made pink hit his four and made him hit pink's 15. So it has weakened him in pink. Um, if he hits pink heart at all. It, like if he hit this five stack of pink. I would be able to kill pink. 26 troops for uh, five cards. I would do it. He doesn't know that though, and he doesn't really have access to hitting the five stack. He doesn't get that many. He only gets five troops, so he can't really do that. Presumably he takes a card here or here and passes. He definitely doesn't have cards. He breaks me instead. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. I know you want me to hit blue. Mm, I don't want to hit his 14 stack. Because I, I have to be wary of white with a 35 and red with a 30 on portals. I know you want me to do it, but I don't want to do it. Move one Drew Booker. That's fine. I was going to move two or three if I was faster. Don't really care. Got a big trade on three. Three turns. Th three big trades in a row. On three. I don't know what is happening this game. Purple is a bro? <clears throat> we'll see. Purple broke me twice in a row early game and then sat in my bonus, so purple is the reason I'm not very far ahead. So I don't know, he's, he's not necessarily a bro. The curse is broken. Open blue to the Middle East? Well, pink's gonna take a card there anyways. I could have also like went around the 14 into Australia. But the problem here is blue is playing very, uh, very aggressive, right? So he's probably ready to suicide and go to the next game. He hit a 15 stack of pink and then he hit my four stack. He's making two enemies at once. Um, so it, there's a real chance that he's ready to just suicide. If I hit his 14, I think pink kills him. But um, I hit his 14 and my my rolls on stacks today have been terrible. I've been losing like equal or worse. Presume I lose 15 on that and I'm guarding this with an 18. I'm on 32 troops. I'm, my, I'm much more vulnerable to everybody at that point. Like purple has more troops than me by five. From South America because I haven't been getting to hold my bonus. Oh, is he going to break him? Okay. And here's the thing. Turn order matters a lot. Because <clears throat> I'm immediately after blue. If blue suicides into pink, I get his four cards for free with my 33 stack, pretty much. Or whatever's left of him. Right? Like, he could run his 14 down, hit the 12. He can run his 15 into the 25. And then I can kill both of them for free, basically. So we'll see what Blue's response is. If he's more measured, then obviously the game continues. But if he goes a bit wild, I can double kill them and pull all my troops back to Europe. Well, there's the first start of the wildness. Retakes Australia and chills with the 15. Doesn't overcommit the suicide. I don't want to kill 31 troops for four cards. I do get the... The bonus. 
I think Pink wants to f kill him, though. I think I should feed Blue, though. I'm gonna go a little bit slow. I'm getting bad dice though. 23 troops, he's gonna have... <clears throat> now pink can kill him. Yep, you can kill Blue. He gets six on his turn, so even if he doesn't have a trade, he'll have a 31 stack to split through and kill this. And then he'll have Africa and Australia. He'll be reasonably weak looking, and he'll be holding five cards at the end of his turn. So somebody might capitalize on that position, but it gets Blue out of the game, and it puts Pink in a spot where I had extra troops, I could afford that. And it'll make Pink kind of the fish holding two bonuses with less troops than White and Red. And are white and red really going to let someone with less troops hold Australia and Africa? I think they. I think one of them pushes in and takes uh, Australia after that. Red is really not just going to finish this, though. Pete, I agree with that. White or red takes the bonus. Oh, yeah, he only gets three because Africa's broken. You make a fair point. Not six. Why doesn't red take NA? I don't think he wants... so. Red probably hasn't realized that if he pulls his 36 back for one turn, he should have done it turns ago. I think White comes through the portal and gets out. And then he can take North America. Without making an enemy. I think he just hasn't realized that that's, that's a possibility. So it's probably less experienced with playing with portals. And I mean, we're, there's also the threat if he backs off. White comes in with his stack and sits on the portal with all of it. So maybe he's scared of that. Because of these blizzards, he can't just get out of the way and still have access to the rest of them. He would be trapping his stack if he got out of the way. And you don't really want to trap your stack if people are going to fight. You want to be ready to... So there's there's big trade-offs for him to consider. <laughs> Presumably you're going to kill Blue now, right? If you don't, I hope White does. Somebody should kill Blue. No, he doesn't kill him. Please kill Blue and take Australia. If, if this is you and you see 19 troops, 4 cards, and a, and a bonus, when you have 59 troops, you lose 12 or 13 on this and you take the bonus. I can't believe nobody's killing Blue here. That's why I don't like to feed kills. Sometimes people ask me, why don't you like to do the first hit and feed kills? Because of that. If blue trades and gets 15 troops, 5 plus a trade, and runs his 30 into my 35, I lose because I fed blue. And nobody acted on it. That's why I like when people feed me kills. I don't like to feed kills. Presumably I could lose the game right here because of that. Like, white's correct play is to kill blue there and take Australia. Him missing that is very frustrating. Do I take if blue doesn't trade? 24 troops and 5 cards? I also don't want to hold 2 bonuses, but I might... He trades. The 4 trade... He's gonna break me. Oh, he's going into pink, and then me. Oh, he might not have enough to break me by the time he gets there. He won't. He's full going in on pink. So maybe pink should have killed him, huh? Pink's on four cards, 27 troops, one hit. I think red or purple should make that kill, not me. <clears throat> Attack pink, huh? Hmm. I mean, white or red or purple. Somebody's got to see that, right? Like, somebody's got to see that. Four cards, 27 troops. I'm not doing it. 
I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm not going to rush my turns. Also, the longer I take to think there, the longer red gets to see. I can't signal white. Uh, purple's probably... Red's the best position to kill him. Purple would have to... Unless purple has a trade, he could just pop him. Even without a trade, purple could actually just kill him too. Uh, do we get an artillery and we have a big trade on three four times in a row? Can this be like the, the record of the best cards of all time? There's all the dudes found him. Yeah, the guy that just traded three of them in. He's getting kilted luck right now. <laughs> he doesn't kill pink. You take his four cards, you can take Africa. Purple could take pink's four cards, take Africa, and fortify this 21 here. Like, he could take the 29, kill him, send a little bit down to finish this, bring this in, fortify it here. And then he's just, he's got a plus five. He's not going to do it. People are really scared to go for kills. This is why I'm so aggressive in these when I when I have people that are vulnerable. I say I'm so aggressive at the same time as I'm not doing too much this game aggressive other than punching blue out of Asia. And I guess threatening purple with a big stack to make sure I get my continent. <laughs> Red is waiting for white to move, I know, but white can't move. Oh, this sucks. Does he trade? I mean, wait, he's like what? You should have killed him that turn. Now he's going to trade. Yeah, he trades. Big trade. Um, what's he do with that? Free takes his bonus and chills? Feeds blue. Kills blue. Killing blue's wrong. Retaking bonus is probably right. But he's also now scared. I don't hate Ray taking the bonus and chilling in the portal. Blue has a lot less access to people now. He's not actually going to do that. So Blue's plus five would be enough to break me if that's what he wanted to do. Does he kill him? No, he should, he should have killed him last turn. He should have killed anybody last turn. Does he just gank Australia now for two cards? He just takes a card and passes. Okay. White's very passive. Although right now it makes sense, but earlier it didn't. What a wonderful day to be alive. Had a very good oral Irish test and now have kilted to watch as they sit back and relax. What's up, man? Happy to hear that that went well for you. I love giving oral tests myself. Uh, B plus. More spit. He's going to roll a three on one for a card and fail. Now gets it. <laughs> mm. We're getting an artillery. We're going to do four in a row. I, I have the feeling that four in a row is coming. Damn. We're going to set records. You think pink kills blue? I'll just give him a thumbs up. I don't know why he needs to attack my... Yeah, Red's finally taking that. Wait. Huh? He's guard? I... Uh, what is happening? That you... Take the bonus! You have 60 troops! You have almost as much as me! Purple said he had to attack my territory, and I gave him a thumbs up. I don't want him to attack my territory, but I gave him a thumbs up. Card locking blue is interesting. Good, I'm glad that succeeded. Fortify? That's the amount of attacking my territory I hope he meant. Good, it is. <laughs> a plus work in D. An oral Irish test is how much Guinness can you drink? Oh, thank you, Spud. You're so nice. No, so he's going to retake his bonus now. Purple's now lined up on blue. If 
Blue's card blocked if pink goes to Egypt. I'm going to say well played. If blue has a trade on three, look out because I think he's rolling 36. It's the smallest portal stack he can roll. How did I weasel my way into the biggest bonus right now? Purple's still the biggest player because he's just got far ahead earlier, but I'm catching up after all the breaks and stuff that happened and me fighting blue a little. <clears throat> Maybe he was asking red to hit you, but accidentally talked to you instead. It's possible. Yeah, the points you guys are pinging, uh, I don't have those ones enabled. Because they spam the chat. Like gamble and duel and accept and deny and all that stuff. So Blue's upset. What does he do about it? Freaky Phallus, thanks for the follow. I love that name. He suicides into Purple's 26 out of anger. Um... I want to take a card. Leave it two. Bring this back. 57 stack is terrifying. There's our artillery. Big trade on four. Let's go with the Southern Europe plus two. Loses the three on one. Now how do you... You got to use the other three on one. <clears throat> Why don't you take the bonus? Maybe he doesn't want to take the bonus because he's scared of the white 52. Like, I don't know why white would really care about the couple ones in here. Oh, is he coming in and card blocking him and breaking the bonus? Or is he killing him? Killing him for three? Taking the taking the second bonus? Okay. Bad roll. 18 on a 19. Good. Blue's gone. Purple has two bonuses now. And the troop leader has become black. Whoever that is. Probably an okay risk player, if I say so myself. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Kilted being the typical European turtle. I did a little bit of fighting. Don't talk mean to me, Mallory, or I won't play marbles with you later. I'm just kidding. I really want to play marbles again. That was fun. Thomas is an absolute beast at marbles. FYI. So now purple has double uh, bonuses, and red and white still don't have one. So there's a chance white ganks Australia from him. And if it happens, will that anger purple or will purple be okay with it? He's left no troops in there. So I could definitely see a gank happening. Pink takes a card and passes. Doesn't break. Because he's he Pink's a, a more of a chill player, I can tell. Also, the name Lucius reminds me of uh, the name of uh, the kid in Gladiator. The movie Gladiator. From the 90s or 2000? It was either 1999 or 2000 or something. That was a great movie. The three-on-ones are triggering you? I know. We've seen lots of them today. Driving me nuts also. Does he take Australia? I'm right. All right. So we are reading these players right. <clears throat> now the question is... Yes, he does finish it. The question is, does Purple get angry about that or is he okay? Because he doesn't have a way to retaliate. White's also inefficiently taking this with us, an awkward split. Like, he could split off 15 and put 15 on the portal, maybe? No, he's just doing this. So he can't guard it in both spots. Does he go to the portal? So purple could break if he's unhappy about what just happened there. Hey, what's up? Savage Speeder 88. How are you doing, sir? Um, presumably, I could kill somebody and be around even. I could kill Pink. Probably go net 40 troops down or 35 troops down. Be on, what, 59, 60 with three cards? I don't really want to do that. I would be evening myself out with everybody. Also, I, I like how Pink's playing, and I think I can play around it pretty well, so... I'm not going to pick a fight. I'm not going to weaken myself to take somebody that I like out of the game. I I, I understand how he's playing, and I, I it's that's much more easy to play around and consistent than... White and red are kind of loose cannons, and purple's, purple's a bit of a loose cannon too. White's the one person who is playing consistent in how they've been playing since the start of the game. 
So taking the one consistent player out um, to play with the Locos is a little bit risky for me. Yeah, welcome in, guy. Thank you for the follow. Ironic that the whitest man I've ever seen, besides my mouse, myself, is black. Ah, it must be me. Purple doesn't break for taking Australia. He's chilled with it. Okay. I didn't like that I lost a card here. Or I lost a troop on that. I don't want to lose troops on three on ones. I don't think Purple will retaliate. Pulling his troops out suggests he didn't expect to keep Australia. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think he pulled them out knowing he's not going to hold it. And then he let him take it and doesn't care. But now he's expanding like he wants Asia. So... I didn't want Australia. I want Asia. Come at me, bros. Stopple Monster, welcome. Welcome in. Thanks for the follow, bro. Thank you, sir. Maybe you should move troops from Iceland so Red can see that you are friendly. I could do that. I kind of like the seven just sitting there. Because I like to take a card. And I don't really want to leave a three stack out here. Because right now, Red and I haven't done anything. This is like a, a weird psychological thing that I think about that probably most players don't. But if I take a card out here and leave a three stack, and green, or sorry, green, if, and purple hits my three stack, he may feel like he wronged me by hitting the three stack, or he may feel like that ticks me off. And he may assume I have a grudge over that, and he may play according to that thinking he's already maybe at war with me without quite knowing for sure. So I try not to leave threes near people that I'm unsure how they're going to think about, even after they hit my three. Because if I hit somebody's three or four stack, I'm not sure what their response is. I'm not sure how they're going to take it if I don't know their skill level. So it, say you're playing against an intermediate and they hit your three. Do they think you're at war now? Do they think you're mad and going to suicide them? Because other people suicide over that. So I just don't want to leave a three there at all. Plus, I, I, don't, I like taking a card here with, uh, with pink. I don't really need the two borders, but whatever. Okay, we got a dude and a double cavalry. Take Asia purple. That's your Asia. I'm all for it. I want to see what happens. Red still doesn't have North America. So if, if a red player does end up watching this game on YouTube in the future, I would strongly recommend taking North America way sooner in the game. I mean, I've talked about the North America thing already, so if he's already made it... Okay, he's going to take it. If he's made it to this point in the game, he's probably already heard that he should have done it sooner. And I maybe should have killed Pink for five cards. But I didn't. It's just... Because I'm Pink's a consistent player and I want to keep him in, I'd rather lose a different player that isn't Pink first. Rather go one and two with Pink because I kind of understand how he's playing. But I also know Pink's probably pretty good compared to some of the other players. So maybe I'd want him third. But I don't want to put him out fifth and play with three loose cannons. Definitely don't hit a five stack of Kilt. It's in Prague. He takes it super personally. Even if that five broke your very coup. It didn't break it. It spawned on that territory. I never moved it. I never added to it. I just left it there. <laughs> and that was like 10 seconds after you're like, I wouldn't hit champs three. Champs my friend. And then you hit my five. Wait, purple's card blocking... Purple's now trying to card block white. This is very bad for him. This is going to incite something. Purple's working on a card block on white. I actually like that a lot. Is he going to try the six on five? Or is he going to fortify something? Or is he going to chill and let the card block happen? That's neat. Purple's actually progressing the game reasonably well too. He doesn't fortify anything, so he lets the card block stay. Wild card's good. Yeah, I love these emotes. 
Wait, what's that one? Mallory, that's another emote of yours I haven't seen before. That, uh, that new one. The hooray? Is that new? Oh, that's right. That five broke Europe in my mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, your mind. Red still doesn't take this. I mean, I'm really happy he doesn't hold an extra five troops every turn. I mean, that's good for me later. He'd have an extra 40 or 50 troops by this point. What well, purple's pushing in on white. Bro, okay. So you vacated Australia to give it to white to push in and card block and suicide it. What? His 32 is going to come out if he's suiciding. Why is he mad at white? Is it because he took... Gunter is a wild card. Please don't hit me with your 32. <clears throat> Or is he just fully feeding white? This is interesting in five players. If this was four players, the game would be over on my turn. But it's not four players, it's five players. So if the game had a 73 troop, a 47 troop, and a 29 troop, and it got to my turn, I could end it. But there's an extra 71 trooper. So I wouldn't be able to end it. Oh! He's slow rolling it. Well, by the time my turn happens, whatever white does, if he suicides into pink or goes through pink and suicides into purple, I still might be able to end the game. <clears throat> I just have to be wary because red stack is active. I need to pay attention to a 56 active stack. So whatever board state I end the game in at the end of my turn, I have to be wary of that. He's blocking this because he's expecting white to come through here to get into purple. White's going to have three cards and like no troops or is he just going to retake? Hmm. It's so close. It's so close to just game ending. Oh, two on one could fail. That'd be perfect and then the 17 has to come around. No, he's lucky. 21 troops, 3 cards, doesn't suicide. Or does he? He's very slow. Also, killing white, I need to remember there's a one in here. That's another thing to pay attention to. Red's kind of guarding the kill sword. Oh, he suicides into pink. Uh, kill 100 troops, lose 80, get two trades, kill this. It's so not close. It's close, but it's not quite there. Ideally, I would kill purple and white, or just white. Or give white to red. Hold on, we're really, really close to being in a position. Math-wise... That's 90, 160, or 170 troops, right? With 10, 10, 10. It's really close that I could kill everybody. What if I killed red and white? I don't like it. It's so close. No. We're going to wait one more turn and see what happens. I think we win the game next turn. If you're like, why why do you not know which order you want to kill people? If I kill red for four cards and then trade, kill white, trade, I'm probably sitting around 50 to 60 with three cards. But I don't know what the uh, purple pink uh, are going to do when I own the whole board at that point. And if they both use their trades to hit me, I lose in the in the three-player game. So I'd be progressing us to the three-player game, but possibly losing. If I had like 10 or 20 more troops, I'd, I would have done it in a heartbeat. Red should kill white here. You, now you accept my alliance, you're dead, man. Red's finally going to have North America. <clears throat> Why didn't I kill white? Uh, I would. Red had 10 troops up here I had to go through to get to the white one. So it's not just uh, three cards for six troops. He didn't kill him? Okay. 
Yeah, because now there's 12 troops here to get to the one. So it's six plus, it was a seven and a three. So it would have actually been 16 troops to go through. Plus making an enemy at a red. So he's going to break pink. And what what is he going to do? Is he going to suicide me? Is he going to hit? Is he going to go through to kill white up here? He might go through to kill white up here, which means I lose my seven. But I never would have predicted red doesn't finish the kill. I'll give him a thumbs up. Pink loses the least out of all that. Me and Red lose. I lose a 7 and a 2 and a, a 2 and a 1. Red loses 12, I lose 10, Pink loses 1. I also lose 5 from the bonus though, so I actually lose a lot. We're in a four player game. I have a giant lead. If he hits purple and I can kill purple and red and go into an even 1v1? He's not going to hit purple enough for me, though. He's thumbs down me. Okay. Now he's thumbs upping me. <clears throat> like, if he hit purple enough, I would kill purple and then red and go into a 1v1. He's just doing that. Um, 109. Not enough to kill Red, though, and go into the 1v1. What are all these dudes? If I was in a- if my troops were in a position to kill Pink, it might be worth it? Kill Pink, and then go into the 1v1. Yeah, killing Pink and then going into the 1v1 would have made sense, but, uh... We weren't there. Okay, we did get in our uh, cavalry to help with the the dudes. Ugh. I didn't quite get a good enough roll, and if I positioned better, I could have killed Pink into a trade. It would have been a double trade. And then I probably would have had an attacker's advantage on red and been able to win. So if I did that more correctly, purple being a little bit split and awkward was a pain. Okay, he's got North America now. Pink's going to retake and chill, or what does Pink do? So, Red and I both have a 5 and a 2. Pink is aiming for just a 3, or is he going to be not okay with that? I have the lead, but a bad trade. He does have a trade. This three-player endgame, I have a decent lead, but I need to be careful how I play, and... Ideally, I want to coordinate with somebody. Pink breaks me. He breaks me and doesn't break red. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Hmm. This is tough. I have a big trade.
Let's hit pink or what? Uh, if I did my troops better, like say I had an extra 30 seconds on my one turn, I could have killed everybody. <clears throat> or or I, I would have had a triple kill and then hit red hard where I'd probably win the 1v1. The pathing to kill purple was a little bit awkward, unfortunately. And I would have had to split like the perfect amount off here to be able to have a decent run at this stack. Red has a plus seven in bonuses and lots of territories. I'm okay if pink and me chill, but I'm also, if pink and I go to war, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to give red first place. I wanna win though, I wanna get first. I don't want second. It's gonna depend if pink just is destined to fight me for no reason. Okay, we're chilling. And he's off the portal. I get 10 a turn right now. My lead is evaporated. I'm not strong enough to kill somebody and then win. With attacker's advantage. Red, I want you to hit pink. I'm trading because I'm not sitting on cards. I want as many troops as possible. I'm taking that away from there. You hit pink. <laughs> Chris Billows, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome in. <clears throat> We're going to be playing some marbles after this game. Hopefully you guys are up for that. If you don't know what that is, I will show you. It's a lot of fun. Save your channel points. Uh, pink just wants everyone to live forever in harmony. No, no. He wants to win. I, I like how Pink's been playing this game. There's a reason I didn't kill him earlier, and it's because of how he's been playing. Yeah, Red also doesn't want to fight. It was so close to me being able to just kill everybody. And now I'm in like an even-ish endgame. Red's slightly better because of the double bonuses. What do I do? Take your, take Asia? Ah. Pink almost just got third. Person who attacks someone will lose. It's kind of looking like that. We need to not upset the balance of the game. So if we're looking at it, Pink got eight troops to start. Red got 11, and I got uh, 10. I got 9 this turn because I'm under 15 territories. Yeah, pink says attack my territory. Five cards is nice, but he's... <clears throat> too many troops to be worth killing. So here's usually where... Uh, there's a there is a weakest player, and if you're tied for the troop lead, generally you want to work with I, the weakest player to attack the person that's the threat to win the game. Pink is not going to hit red with me. I mean, if he did, he would lead the charge because he goes immediately after red, and I could follow it. But he has to trust that I'm going to follow it, and depending on how much he hits red, I might not. It's the same as if Red and I are going to work on Pink. I go immediately after Pink, so it would make sense for me to lead the charge on Pink. But I don't think Red would follow if I led on Pink. It's one of those things where, like, I feed a kill, do I trust somebody? Hmm. Okay, so pink is deciding that red gets first. I don't want second place. Good game. <clears throat>
Pink doesn't want to work with me. He's trying to work with red, but the problem is I go before red. So I get second. And there's a chance red kills me if I don't make that play. I don't know for sure. Like I could have kept going, but I think the uh, I think the game was about to go poorly. So the game's about to end. I'm gonna decide that for myself. Go out on my own terms. Big dice. I think that be how she goes. Red should easily clean the game up now. He's got double my troops. He's got a hundred stack. He could win the game this turn. And I do not have a trade. Good game. So Lucius Hawkeye, I thought was intelligent, but uh, he made a very poor decision at the end of the game there. Cost him a chance at second and first. So that was a turn order problem. I, so he wanted to work with red, go one and two with red. He tried to feed me enough that I looked enticing enough that red would kill me with his stack. The problem is I go before red. So if I retake Europe and I sit just this juicy, if pink's plan works, red kills me and I get third. So if pink also fed red to me and I went next, there's a chance I would have killed red and went into the 1v1 with him. It would have depended on how much he actually hit red. So he misplayed that quite heavily. Yeah, I guess you take second, pink answer. I get second. There's no chance to recover from this. Unless this was progressive cards and I got like a 70 trade right now. Uh, that's pretty much the end of it. This guy's stack is trapped? Okay. I mean, his stack is trapped. We can win. I mean, we're going to fight to the bitter end, but uh, he's got he's got the game. It is what it is. Down to 14, let's go. Oh, White's still watching, that's awesome. Why, was White here giving like uh, emotes or something? I missed it. Red might be slow, yeah. But the speed at this troop disadvantage, the speed doesn't matter. Unless he consistently traps his stack and I get to hold half the board for like two turns worth of bonuses. He'd still probably... He gets the four trade. <clears throat> so if there's one person I wanted to go into the 1v1 with, it looks like it would have been red based on how he's playing. I love when people hang around. Red made so many mistakes and he's getting first. I know. Uh, that's... Uh, is 48 is guarding that? What am I watching? His stacks are trapped. I should hit the 16. Come on, at least give me Asia. Bro, give me Asia. Thank you. He's on 12? Boom. My Asia. Now, if he screws up and I hold Asia for four turns in a row, we can win this. If you're on YouTube and you recognize this game's over, just pay attention. There's a little button down here. You could click it. You could subscribe to the YouTube channel. Catch me more videos every day. Because um, obviously this game's over. But I am going to play it out for the rest of the game for the stream. Do an outro at the end of the game. Show you the ranks of everybody, but... I mean, you're watching this, and Red is very slow at winning the game. So, you could click that button. You've got the time. We've all got the time. He splits like a bot. Imagine he bots out and we take the W. Oh, man. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass that Pink wanted to do that. But I truly believe it's very likely Pink was trying to win in his own way. He just didn't understand how to do that. So, like, how can I really be mad about that, right? Oh, you you think you get to hold that bonus? How is this guy not killing me? I 
There's a very tiny chance I can win this game if this guy keeps doing this stuff. I'm being honest. I mean, it, it's not going to happen, but like... It would be absolutely sick. If this 48 stays here forever... I mean, then we're fighting with, what, 25 versus 30 something? You have more chance versus red than a red bot? No, I would beat a red bot easily. Uh, at this point. Six on three can lose. Bro, if a six on three lost there, I would laugh so hard. His 48 is locked. He's... Come on. Seventeen? Bring all of them out. What are you doing? He's guarding North America. Oh my god. B bro. Just just kill me. Just kill me. Come on, get it over with. He still gets more Yeah, yeah. He's getting more turn because he had this bonus. Now he's guarding North America. He is going to beat me in his own way very slowly. Red is a beginner or an intermediate at most. I'd say Pink's probably closer to Expert, because he's a decent player, but he doesn't know how to do, a, like, a good close. It's kind of like he worked up the courage to ask the girl for her phone number, but then he bundled, bumbled it in the in the text message game, right? Like, we we, we were just getting to texting, and he, and he bundled it. Bumbled it. Bumbled? Bungled? Bungled it. Bungholed it. Yeah, it was just very awkward, right? And insecure. And it, like, it turned me off. I'd say Red is a novice. I'm not sure he realized White was still in NA. Bumbled. Yeah. Bumbled, bungholed, all of it. Yeah, the White one was just another blizzard to him. Just kill me. Just get me out of here. Oot. Get me oot. This Canadian wants to go play marbles on stream with his viewers. I'm okay with a second, though. That was an interesting game. We had a giant lead. There was a moment where we probably could have taken the game. If I, I was better on purple. If I was trying less on being instructive and more on being focused, I would have probably... Purple split was a bit awkward. But if I split, kill purple, kill purple, split up here, come down here, and I split just enough, and my dice don't screw me, and then I double trade or, um, or trade, I could have killed pink. Uh, maybe even killed Pink finishing at the portal. And that, I think after Pink would have been a double trade. Which then I lead that into Red, red Stack. With Attacker's Advantage. And as long as I don't get a, a bad roll there. Uh, I should win the game off that. And seeing how Red is playing the final five minutes. For certain that would have done it. Kill me! You've got this, sir. If this was progressive, you'd be done. You don't have to guard your bonuses. Just kill me. Good game. You're going to get a lot of rank points for this one. End my life. What is he doing? Oh my god, this is painful to watch. A little bit. A little bit. I had a game against a novice that did this too at the end. Though they had a 90 troop lead. I got it down to a 40 troop lead, but they just had too much. Yeah, like, presumably there was a chance I could have ended him here. I, he's really confused. Okay. Okay, he's got it. Now you speed run the kill. He figured out using the portal to blitz that to have enough troops to end me. Well played. Yeah, we'll just, whatever. He's probably a newer player, and he's figuring it out. Good. Good game. Congratulations. Probably feels good. He'll see our ranks at the end, and if he is a novice, he'll probably feel pretty good about beating us. So good for him. Finishes it off with a three-on-one. In true novice fashion, the three-on-one coming in clutch for the win. Let's check the ranks out.
Intermediate? Okay, what do we think Pink's rank is? So we've got beginner, beginner, intermediate, expert, and Pink was a beginner. Okay, I actually gave him too much credit. That B, the game, it's a fun game. If you're joining from YouTube, thank you for hanging out to the end of the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Catch you tomorrow. New videos every day at the exact same time. Uh, territorial videos, occasionally I'll le release them two hours before my risk videos. But if you see a territorial video, A, watch it. And B, my risk video is still coming at the same time. So don't think that it replaces it. It's just there a little, it's extra. It's bonus kilted action for you. So have a great day and see you around.